Hello and welcome back to Civilization 6 in our Let's Play as Brazil. Let's continue where we left off. You know what? Actually, you know what? We need to do this right off the bat. Uh, let's make a deal. Let's make sure that this guy can take his army somewhere other than to us. Yeah, so you just take all them horsemen and you go attack whoever you want. Because we've already got, you've already got an agreement for him not to settle near us, so there's no reason to block his progress. I don't want him to get the idea to turn all that on us, right? Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, 35 turns for our encampment. This city, man, I I need to I don't know send some trades or something over there. It's just so slow growing. Once it gets up and running, this could be amazing, especially with Petra. But right now, it's just like meh. All right, so we've got two turns, we'll have pyramids complete, building another archer, and we have a granary coming. Okay. Normal people believe that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, it doesn't have enough features yet. <laughs> okay, so we've got the aqueduct. You know, interesting thing too about the aqueduct is that, and I'm not sure that people that haven't been playing this very long, maybe, you know, because there's a lot of different details, obviously, in Civ 6. So I'm going to try to point things out as we go along. The aqueduct, which allows you to port water from one tile away um, to give you housing. And as you can see here, adjacent to river, lake, oasis, or mountain, um, you get up to six, up to six housing, okay, based on that. Um, but if a city already has existing fresh water, you'll get plus two it instead. So you, there is still value in adding an aqueduct to a city, even if you already have a fresh water source. I mean, plus two housing is pretty good. So just FYI, people, just FYI. See, nine turns, we could get two more housing, which actually... How are we on housing right now? We're just barely okay on housing, so that's something we may, may want to do. Same thing with amenities. I'm still debating whether or not I want to build, because we have the street carnival, which is the replacement for the entertainment complex, whether or not I want to build it here or here. I could build it in this city and have it affect both, at least some of the structures we put there would. It's got a six tile range for some of those. If we did it like right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Might even affect both cities. That would be pretty awesome. But for now, let's see. Great Library. 17 turns, huh? All right, let's do this. Let's repair the shrine. I guess for the faith, and it'll allow us to faith buy some stuff. Alright, we'll go ahead and repair that. Okay, builder. Okay, you stay put in the city. Yep, go ahead and build that mine. Let's check our assignments while we're at it. Yeah, let's go for a little bit more production. Okay, how are the other tiles? Good, good. We could give up some gold. Do we have another free food tile? No, not currently. Okay. From the height of these pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. I think these animations for the wonders are pretty cool. 
One might say that they're wonderful. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay. Maybe go hook up the sheep. We need to hook up the wheat, actually. Yeah. Come here. Come to me, wheat. Come to me. Okay. Yeah, now building these holy sites is just like, seems like a complete waste. Well, I'm not gonna, I mean, I could faith buy some stuff, which I guess we will at some point, but, yeah. Not getting a religion is... not so great, right? Alright, let's grab ancient walls. And... How are you doing here? Let's see. Your amenities are fine, your housing is fine, your growth rate is good. You know what, let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get ancient walls for you as well. Okay, let's lock that. Four food, so good. And we'll lock that. We need some more trade routes, like in the worst way. Another farm? I think I'd rather pick up the salt, actually. Man, they have a ridiculous number of units right there. And I'm just really hoping they don't decide to come over to us. Salt. Two turns there, 31 turns for the encampment. Ugh. That's a good tile. We needed that, actually. Other three food tiles we're not currently working. This one's five. Yeah, that one's nice. Four. We need another farm right here, and then we'll have a adjacency bonus thing going on. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that next. Remember that people break down too. Not just machinery. Okay, now, what were we working towards over here? Let's take a look. Do have any boosts? No. Earn a great scientist. How far are we from being able to grab a great scientist? Well, I mean, still, we're still a little ways off, but we are making progress, so maybe... 
We should wait for that boost for education. University. And something else requires two universities. Right, printing. Man, the Forbidden City, man, that is a nice... That is a nice wonder. Adds one wildcard policy and plus five culture. That's so good. Okay, so build an armory. Have guilds, civics. Boost, build a lumber mill. Yeah, there's just... hmm. Could build an aqueduct to get this boosted. It's not a bad idea to do that anyway. Alright, so let's do this. We'll start on military engineering. And then we'll go ahead and build... Hmm... That's actually not the most efficient thing to do. No, not by a long shot. Man, I wish I could get rid of that holy site now. Ugh, such a waste. This is a tough decision, people. Don't look at me like that. Great library is a good choice, too. Where would I have to put that? We could put the commercial zone... Here. That would work. Alright, let's do it. Almost done with ancient walls. So tempted to build Petra here. What other tiles do we have over here? One, two, three, five, six. On all desert tiles for this city. Floodplains, floodplains, so those would not get the bonus, and yeah, it's not worth it to build it here. Industrial zone. Okay, next.
This is making me a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous. It's a whole lot of stuff. City is starving. Who's starving? Oh, well, yeah. Anything we can do about that? Not really. No. Well. Guess we could do that. Now we're broke again. We'll get that oasis as well. Okay, send envoy. Uh, what will we pick up here? Plus two production in every encampment district when producing units. Plus two science. Let's just grab that. That's a nice little bonus. Mass production's now boosted. Okay. So we can get the boost for a great scientist for education. Then we can go to mass production. And build a university adjacent to a mountain. We should be able to get that as well. Okay, so we kind of got a game plan for that. So we'll stick with military engineering. And then we can boost. We can build an armory once that encampment is finally done. Yeah, okay. We're doing all right. Okay. Scythia and Japan are going at it. Oh, okay. Well, that's not good. Declare surprise war. Well, it wasn't that much of a surprise. I was just kind of hoping maybe they, they weren't going to do this. But, alright. I conclude then this point touching upon the power of... Okay, so let's take a look. Civic changes. All right, we're going to get rid of that. We'll probably pick up another warfare-based military policy. Um, city defense and strength range attack. Yeah, we'll grab that. Do have anything that gives, like, extra experience or anything? 50% discount on all unit upgrades. That might be worth that might be worth doing. Yeah, it is. Okay, so confirm policies. Yes. How much is it to upgrade you? A hundred, so we'll be able to do that. In a turn or two. Okay. How many uses do you have left? Three? Okay, move back into the city then. And what civic are we going to go for? Merchant Republic? That would be nice. Yeah. The plus two inherent bonus, the plus two trade routes is huge. All right, let's try to get that. It'll give us, it'll move us into Renaissance era also and give us our first like proper government. We'll pick up more influence points, too, which would be nice. Okay, so here... I guess since it's only four turns, we'll build a catapult. Okay, so let's bombard you.
Move back with our knight. Okay, that's about all we can do there. The biggest thing that's gonna really be a pain is that they're gonna pillage every improvement. So we'll probably be able to like hold them out. It's just, yeah, it's gonna be painful. Plus we're gonna pick up war weariness and that's gonna start affecting um, our amenities. So like right here, it says amenities from war uh, weariness and we'll start getting a negative there. Now we're the defender and I've read some mixed things about this. Um, certainly when you're on the offense, you pick up a lot of war weariness over time. Um, and then even once the war ends, it takes like forever for this to go away. So we'll just have to see how this plays out. But in in this particular situation, the war weariness thing actually works in our favor, because obviously the longer we can hold out, the more weariness they're going to pick up. And now Sithy and I have a common enemy, so that's that's not a bad thing. Oh, he's got a promotion available. Good, so we'll get a heal out of that. Plus 7 combat strength when defending. Plus 10 combat strength versus fortified defender. Let's grab barding. Okay, so there's the bombard. And then... Still can't afford that. Alright. Take the shot. There we go. Here, grab our knight. Oh, right. He promoted this turn, so he can't take an action. Okay. Well, that's fine. I guess we'll send one food and one predict one production to Sao Paulo. I really don't want to do that, actually. This city's just going to take forever to build up. That's just how it is. Okay, that's not going to work for us. We could trade with our quote-unquote buddy. That's actually probably not a bad idea. That's a relatively safe trade route. Oh, we can even do this one. That might be better. It's more cash. Let's go for that. And in fact, let's talk with her a little bit. She won't accept the delegation, huh? What's our historical? Friendly meeting, kept diplomatic promise, open borders, different governments, broke diplomatic promise, made to them. That was like moving our troops near them, but that wasn't my fault. And that's kind of weird how the AI interprets that. It's like, okay, our city's right here. We should be able to move our troops around. It's kind of silly. It's silly. Okay, so let's sell some stuff. What would you give me for this? 131? That's it? It's not that great, really. We can come back to that. Let's see if anyone else will give us a good deal. And he won't accept. All right. You'll give me open borders and 90. Everybody, they're all broke. Fifty five. Man, why is everybody so broke?
And he doesn't want it at all because he actually has that resource. Okay, what about... Furs? 98 gold. I can't believe the best deal I can get is this. Which I'm tempted to take because... <laughs> I need the money, so I'm actually going to take this deal. No, Mel, why? Well, because then it affords me the... The opportunity to upgrade this archer next turn for sure. All right. Oh, I'm glad I put those walls in in every city now. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to bombard. Nope. You need more housing, huh? Okay. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, folks. So we'll continue this war in the next one. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider hitting the thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.